it was quite a few weeks, months, before they really trusted me. They're a little quiet about making friends until they trust you, but then they go all the way. Among the blessings counted always by people who once called these mountains home is the Pi Phi Settlement School, which brought not only opportunities for book learning, but also protection against illness and disease. In a moment, we'll meet a nurse who came here 49 years ago, intending to stay only a short while, but decided, better I stay. Marjorie Chalmers spends much of her time these days knitting afghans and lap robes for the Veterans Hospital in Johnson City. But for 30 years, she wielded a different kind of needle as part of her job as a public health nurse. Our inoculations days were like parties. They, they thought it was just fun. And I promised I wouldn't hurt them, and I didn't. The youngsters she served might not have been able to pronounce her name, but they knew she was a friend. They, could hardly remember Chalmers, so they called, the youngsters called me Miss, Miss Charmer. And uh, part of the youngsters called me Marnie, and part of them called me Miss Marjorie, and some, and just Nursey. Uh, lots of times if a young one had come in and fallen out of a tree or fallen into the creek or something, and I'd say, well, what did Mother say? Well, I didn't go to Mother, I came here. <laughs> They would, they would bring their troubles to me rather than go home because they knew I could fix them up. If I'd go by a, a school, you could see the little hands come waving out of the windows. Fixing up was what Miss Charmer was called to do a lot, often in the middle of the night and usually to places hard to get to. The worst thing to get there was to go across footbridges. I was scared pink <laughs> to go across the footbridge because they just a, a a uh, plank across, you know, and with the uh, heavy bags in each hand, I would just knew I was going into the creek. <laughs> and the only thing that kept me going was because I knew somebody was watching me go, and I had to. I did sit down in the creek one time when I was trying to turn around, and I fell off the bank and sat down in the creek. And I tell you that water in the creek, mountain creek at March is not very warm. Were people surprised by your bravery? Uh, Jim King stopped me one day, <clears throat> and he said, where did you go the day that you stopped to talk to me? And I told him I had gone up to Big Ridge and gone through the cornfield and down past Walter Franklin's and so on. And he looked at me and he said, woman, do you want to die? And I said, no, not particularly. He said, don't you know men won't drive that way? <laughs> At 91, the former surgical nurse from Galesburg, Illinois, has no regrets about her 30 years as nurse in the Berg. It really has been a wonderful experience, all of it.